Day 13, we're strengthening our marriages. And one important habit to cultivate is to keep dating. Think back to when you were not yet married and you would plan dates, go on romantic dates, just listen to each other, uh, look into each other's eyes, go to fun places, think ahead, look forward to it. I mean, all that existed before the wedding. Don't let that just shrivel up and die. You've got to keep going out on some dates. Now, there's going to be some obstacles. Let's be realistic. One of them is going to be financially. Uh, are you going to invest the money? I remember Tommy Nelson said so clearly, every penny you invest in your marriage is worth it. That's right. Every penny is worth it. It is such a wise investment and it should just be part of that overflow of the love you have for one another. Of course, you got to stay within your budget. I understand that, but plan times together. And yes, it's going to take money. So you might have to, if you're naturally a little bit of a saver or even stingy, let's just call it a saver. You might have to kind of free yourself up to think this is wise. This is good. Another aspect is with kids. If you have kids, who's going to watch the kids? We were very cautious when we started to have kids. We weren't sure who we really wanted to have watch the kids. And yes, to find somebody, if you have grandparents around, of course, that can be ideal. But finding a babysitter, make that a priority. And then also make it a priority to put it in the schedule. Some couples, they have a date night and it's every week. Uh, we haven't had quite that rhythm, but that really works for a lot of couples. Now choose some things that you like to do together. Do you like to go out to eat together? Do you like movies? Uh, we take our kids to a family movie, but that doesn't count as a date. There's a lot of things you might do, doesn't count as a date. So find a date and it's not the kids being around and find something you like to do. Here in Seattle, Elkai Beach is a favorite spot for us. Uh, we really enjoy Mexican food, so there's a restaurant there, Cactus. Maybe they should be giving me some gift certificates or something for a mention, but uh, Cactus Restaurant, Elkai Beach, I mean, that's a go-to place for us. We've got some others as well, and then we like to try new places. Uh, when people ask, oh, what kind of gift do you want? I just think gift cards. Why? Because if I have a gift card in my hand, then I just am more inclined to let's go, let's go out to eat, let's go do this. And then sometimes think of bigger trips. We've had some overnights together and just getting away for 24 hours. That's really important, especially if you have kids, to be able to just get away the two of you for 24 hours. And we have some neighbors. We've done something creative where we go back and forth. They have four kids and we have four kids, but we say, we'll watch your kids. If you watch our kids, and then we'll watch your kids. And we flip it around and uh, we just go back and forth, back and forth. We've even done overnights this way and it's worked out great. Yes, eight kids is a lot. And then after it's done, we feel like, whoo, four kids, a lot more manageable. It feels better. Uh, but uh, eight kids is a lot. It's totally worth it. And then when we get to go out on dates and overnights, that's important. Uh, we did something special this year. Our uh, honeymoon was in Coronado Island. We flew back to San Diego, spent several days there, just the two of us. It was a great, great time. So plan it talk about it again expectations how frequently do you go out what are the dates you enjoy the most and then you've got to free up some money make it a priority put it in the schedule make sure the kids are covered and when you go out don't keep checking on how the kids are doing every 30 minutes don't keep calling back just get away savor the time it strengthens the marriage it's more needed than you realize and stay romantic be romantic don't let all that shrivel up just because you're married now and you know that person's always going to be with you. No, treat them in such a way that you pursue them, you get to know them, you value them. And I'm preaching to myself now, I need to do a better job, but let's keep dating.